Reports from the media, New York Times, New York Post, they've been criticizing the Cybertruck because of reports of premature rust issues. The media have jumped on this and they've used this to criticize Tesla. Now Tesla, they've responded to the media's claims that Cybertrucks are rusting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Reports of premature rust issues on the Cybertruck. Um, they're getting around now. And, you know, Tesla did respond to this about a month ago. But now the media are making a huge big deal out of it, saying that Cybertrucks are rusting really badly. Most balanced Cybertruck owners say they have noticed a few rust spots on their trucks. Well, what they think is rust. However, the rusting appears to be at the surface and not actually a problem, maybe, potentially. Having said that though, I mean, no one wants, wants rust spots on their vehicle, do they? No one wants to have a look like they've got a vehicle, had it for a short period of time and it's rusting away. I mean, that's, that's a pretty bad feeling. Talk News says, as of now, Tesla has not publicly commented, well, until now, regarding premature rusting issues. However, Tesla have now directly addressed the issue. They've actually revealed a do-it-yourself guide and they've responded to these claims that, well, Cybertrucks are rusting. Now, someone who owns a Cybertruck and he's called the Cybertruck guy, he posts on X. He said this, that rust you see on your Cybertruck? Question, it's not your Cybertruck. Tesla has published an entire guide to cleaning surface contamination on your truck's stainless steel, also known as industrial fallout. Tesla recommends using isopropyl alcohol to remove these rust spots. If that fails, use a citrate acid based cleaner. So there's still a bit of confusion here because he's saying it's not rust from the Cybertruck, but then he's saying how to rust on the Cybertruck is to use isopropyl alcohol. So what actually is it? Well, it turns out the issue is iron containing debris from the environment. Um, so the iron is from the environment, the iron gets under the Cybertruck and then it looks like the Cybertruck is rusting. This is what Tesla said, throughout your vehicle ownership, you may notice contamination on the surface of the stainless steel body panels. These spots may appear as orange or brown rust. However, it is important to note that your Cybertruck is not rusting. Yeah. So according to Tesla, the rust spots aren't actually, well, they don't actually mean the Cybertruck is rusting. This would make sense because it wouldn't be very likely the Cybertruck is gonna start rusting within a week of ownership. That's pretty unlikely. Tesla says these spots are surface contamination caused by iron containing debris that is picked up by your vehicle as you drive. One of the places that um, Cybertrucks are picking up the iron is actually in the trucks, is actually in the trains that deliver the Cybertruck uh, from Tesla's factory in Texas. So they use uh, these trains to move the Cybertruck around America. And on those trains, there's quite a bit of iron. So that iron is floating through the air. It sits under the Cybertruck and people think, oh, you've just delivered me a vehicle that has was well, rusting. Tesla says these spots are surface contamination caused by iron containing debris that is picked up by your vehicle as you drive, or obviously can get on the Cybertruck from when it's being transported in trains. This means the rust spots on your Cybertruck do not come from stainless from the stainless steel structure itself, but rather from iron containing debris from the environment that just sticks to it. Now, this kind of makes sense, guys, because if you think about it, millions of people own stainless steel appliances. Millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people own stainless steel appliances, and they very rarely rust, even though, for example, I live on the beach. Uh, there's all these people here where I live who live on the beach who have stainless steel appliances, and they're not rusting. But if you leave your doors open and there's iron in the air and the iron settles on the, the fridge, for example, it may look like your fridge is rusting. This sounds like it's going to be a bit of a relief for some Cybertruck owners, but I'm guessing most of them have already figured this out themselves and realized that they can pretty easily remove what appears to be rust. Tesla gives an in-depth guide on how to remove iron containing debris from your, from your Cybertruck stainless steel exterior. Now this is what they say, remove loose dust and debris from a vehicle surface using water and a mild detergent if necessary. Two, dry the vehicle with a clean microfiber towel. While wearing gloves, 
Apply a mild citric acid cleaner with a sponge or microfiber cloth to evenly saturate the entire area of the stainless steel panel. Tesla recommends Citri Surf 77 or equivalent. The citric acid binds to and dissolves the iron oxide in the contamination, which can then be removed from the stainless steel panel. Apply enough cleaner to cover the surface completely while minimizing dripping or pooling. Let it rest for three minutes, then remove the cleaner using a blue scotch bride non-scratch scour pad to slightly scrub and remove the surface contamination. Remove any residual cleaning solution with water and dry the panel with a microfiber cloth. The cleaning solution may leave a white residue or on plastic trim. This can easily be removed with isopropyl alcohol or IPA wipes. Continue caring for and cleaning your vehicle as normal. Now, obviously, if you get your vehicle wrapped in some sort of clear film or you get it wrapped, you're not gonna have any of these issues. And it is worth pointing out that vehicles do rust. I mean, they get surface contamination and they get proper bad rust on them. And it's especially bad when it's underneath the paint. You've got to sand the paint back and then um, try and get the, the rust out. This isn't that kind of rust. It's very, very different to that. That's kind of a catastrophic rust, which happens very regularly here in Australia in older vehicles that, you know, people live on the beach here in Australia, people live on the, live on the coast, the majority of the population, and therefore vehicles rust much, much faster. This is a very different scenario, I think. But let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about Tesla's response? Thanks for watching.